extraction of coherent matter wave atom laser so here they're saying that they've turned this thing into an atomic laser it's a it's a laser of matter that's shooting atoms that's what this is okay ready mechanism to form a beam atoms are extracted from the bose einstein condensate using techniques like radio frequency outcoupling or optical Raman transitions. These methods coherently transfer atoms from the trapped Bose-Einstein condensate state to an untrapped state, releasing them as a propagating matter wave beam. Let me read that in a different way. To form a negative energy laser, atoms are extracted from your coherent plasma ball Using radio frequencies and coherence, these methods form a negative energy laser of atoms from the plasma ball and create a gravitational well that the plasma ball will fall forward. That's obviously my narrative, in case anyone wants to fact check me. And... The reason why I've been wondering that is I keep going, now I'm looking at this patent and I'm going, holy shit, this patent might be the secret to all of it. This patent might be how they make the plasma balls. This patent might be how they actually produce the gravity well in front of them from the plasma itself. I never thought they might, they're just using the atoms in the plasma to make a a matter wave beam chat well 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 driftless dave they're using the fucking atoms in the plasma to make a matter wave beam it's not a laser beam it's a matter wave beam using the actual plasma boom yahtzee there you go for your wednesday night they're just moving. They've got a device inside the plasma and it can just move. It can create waves where they can like it probably is like I imagine it looks like shit. Do I know what the device looks like inside? We're going to be able to figure out what the literally what's inside the plasma orbs. I imagine that what it would look like. This is just I'm going to hold on. I'm going to remote view it chat. Oh, I'm using my psychic powers. Oh. Shit, chat. Ooh, I'm remote viewing the what's inside the plasma orbs. Oh, I got it. I got it. I remote viewed it. It turns out it's a donut. There's a ring that is on a gyroscope and it can just move in any direction like this. And so if they need to make a beam, they just have it focus. The beam focuses through the center of the ring and it can move gyroscopically 360 degrees. Boom. Gotcha. Kobe for three, baby. Swish. Honestly, you can't even go wrong uh, with donuts as the answer to anything in life anyway. So we're just going full, full Homer, full donut. But no, that's what I think is going on inside those orbs. And I think now it's not a laser. I think they're using a pla the matter wave beam. It makes more sense. Just use the literal plasma as your like direction and to, to move around. And when you look at the orbs, let's look at the video again. Um, in, in its entirety, or at least the part where the orbs come around. Because it feels like it actually looks as though like the 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 beam comes from the plasma, like literally comes from the plasma. So imagine there's like a donut inside the plasma ball that can spin on 360 degree axis like a gyroscope does. And yeah, it like it looked like the black lines look like they're like coming out of the plasma orb, although we don't see any dispersion from the orb. So that's what makes me skeptical. Like it doesn't look like there's a volcano coming out of the orb. The orbs are perfectly spherical. So whatever they're doing, it's not impacting the shape of the orb. 
So the strongest argument to steel man against the argument is like when we look at it here, I don't see like if this is shooting an, a, a beam of atoms from the plasma, I don't see where it's coming out of. So this is where part of me thinks that they've got some kind of splitter thing inside the plasma ball so that the heat signature is not this heat signature is not linked to the direction of the the matter wave beam. The matter wave beam can go any direction they want and the heat signature that we see is not connected to that at all. So the heat signature is actually connected to the magnetic field around the plane not connected to the, the direction that the orb needs to go in three-dimensional space. So that's the reason why the dark lines, they don't line up with the heat signature that you see in those, in those videos. Crazy. I actually just realized that right now. Hmm. I still think it can be a matter wave beam, though. I don't think it's a requirement that we see some kind of volcano coming out of the videos or whatever. So let's let's finish this up. Let's go back to this. Um, what else can this do? Oh, so as I forget who was saying that in the chat, velocity and momentum control. So remember, somebody just said that they have to, the atoms need to be the same temperature. They need to have the same velocity. If the atoms don't have the same velocity, your Bose-Einstein condensate is going to fall apart. It's going to lose coherence. The way the coherence is achieved is everything needs to be vibrated perfectly together, right? Get everything nice moving together. Like imagine people jumping and now all of a sudden everybody's jumping perfectly in unison. That's what we need to achieve. And for that to happen, everybody needs to jump exactly the same. So here it says narrowing the velocity distribution using laser-based techniques or magnetic lenses. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys some secret sauce right now, right here. Listen closely. They can literally just put a lens on a laser or apparently a matter wave beam. And you can just, like, in this case, they can use it as like a filter to make sure that the atoms that have the correct amount of velocity, the correct amount of energy are the only ones that can get past the filter. So you can create a lens and now you're producing coherent matter on the other side of the lens. And the lens can be like literally a, a magnet or a superconductor. In fact, it was Ning Li that was producing a superconductive magnetic lens for gravity control. Chat, I just feel like I should say that I would never harm myself for any circumstances whatsoever. You can create, use a lens and put it on your matter wave beam. And now you have a gravitational beam just with the right, we'll call it a metamaterial lens. Let's just call it something like that. But you can use superconductor or what have you. As to why that's for a, a different stream, you can, you can figure that out yourself. But secret is a superconductor does what? Oh, repels magnetic fields. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. And then here it talks about coherence and how coherence is very fragile. So this technology, whatever they're using the orbs, it's very advanced, but it's not so advanced that we can't comprehend it. We're even publicly, we're on the verge of understanding how these orbs are possible. So privately for them to have understood it decades ago does, is not a stretch anymore. So coherent matter wave beam can generate matter wave optics to direct focus or split beams while preserving phase coherence. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Well, well, well. So they can actually create the ball of plasma and siphon off a coherent matter wave beam from the ball of plasma and make sure the ball of plasma stays coherent and the ball of plasma doesn't just break apart or become unstable. Wow. 
Yeah, okay. So now I'm 100% convinced. Matter Wave Beam is where it's at. If you haven't got Matter Wave Beam into your lexicon, get it in there. Matter Wave Beam is the new directed energy weapon. This is some shit nobody knows about. Nobody's talking about this shit. We got random Lockheed Martin Skunk Works dudes or whatever talking about how they're a million times more powerful than regular lasers. And when you look into what they do, it's like, oh, okay, it can just basically do all the magic that you could ever imagine. Nano fabrication, matter transport, interferometry. Anytime you guys hear interferometry, just remember crossing the streams. And that's what Tom Bearden said. So you can potentially just with a lens, a lens on your, you know, flashlight, la laser, matter wave beam, you can turn it into a gravity gravity beam. Yeah, honestly, why am I even holding it back? You can create a fucking gravity beam by just putting a superconductive lens on top of one of these matter wave beams. Now you've got a negative energy laser. And so what we've seen from what we've learned from Eric W. Davis, shout out to the OG, Eric W. Davis, big dog. Number one world's expert at warp drives and wormholes. What we learned from him is that we can take squeeze states of light, separate off the positive and negative energy aspects, isolate the negative energy aspect and now we have a negative energy laser using squeezed states of light Ooh, does that mean we can make negative matter lasers Ooh, how about negative matter wave beam laser no wait negative wait negative coherent matter wave beam now that's the high IQ talk. Negative coherent matter wave beam. Mm, that's the ticket. That's the spice we're looking for, chat. I want the whole buffet. I didn't just come for a salad. I need some shit that's going to bend space time. That's going to make my ball of plasma floaty, float, float, float. And then I'm going to take my coherent, my negative coherent matter wave beams bring them into a triangle formation, and boom, rip through reality. Screw reality. I'm out. Time to go visit Andromeda Bij or Andromeda Galaxy, visit Ambassador Biju, and say, what's good, brother?